Victory Duff Starfighters. My name is Carlin Jones, and this is a Starfighter full episode review. And today, today we are finally watching season four of Ocean Girl. I am beyond excited to finally get into season four. I finished season three. Well, what was it? Like probably like four months ago, maybe, maybe four, maybe five. Um, no, maybe not five. I think, I think around April. Yeah, I think around April I finished season three of Ocean Girl, and okay, first of all, love season three. And after I finished it, I was like, you know what? I really do love this and the entirety of this series. So I'm just gonna wait. You know, I'm just gonna try to grow a little bit as a human being or as much as I possibly can and then come back to the show because one thing that I have noticed about season four of, of Ocean Girl which of course I haven't I haven't seen it but you know when you used to watch the YouTube channel which unfortunately is not there anymore uh, where the Ocean Girl episodes were you would see thumbnails for all the seasons uh, in, including season four and in those thumbnails everyone is like older you know the, the the actor who plays little brother is like not little anymore and he's practically the same height as the big brother and then the big brother looks a lot older and um I'm, I'm very interested to see how ocean girl is gonna look how older she's gonna gonna be so i'm really looking forward to see how much time has passed and what everyone's been up to and and more most importantly what is the threat <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna have these characters in peril you know is it the universe again is it the world is it i have no idea and i'm so looking forward to it um but i do know something about pyramids or something like that so it should be pretty interesting um also see this is gonna be such a great episode because now i can just talk about ocean girl all freaking day uh so one thing i want to talk about before we get into this episode about ocean girl is the so one of the main things that i love about this series is it's not too serious but also at the same time it knows when to get serious uh so for an example of that um a really good example i'm i've been watching a lot of star trek as of recently which i've already seen star trek and i love star trek but I've been re-watching some of the D DS9 and, and, and Voyager and stuff like that. And I try to watch a little bit of, of Discovery. And I don't like Discovery at all. I don't feel like a Star Trek. And the reason why I'm bringing up Discovery and relating it back to Ocean Girl is because Discovery has a really, really bad habit of every single season. And we're only on four seasons right now. Every single season it is like a threat to the universe the universe will be destroyed if we don't do this that season one season two universe will be destroyed season three universe will be destroyed and even season four it is the exact same thing now for ocean girl i love that it the show is just fun it doesn't take itself too serious but knows when to get serious that's why season one of ocean girl we saw there wasn't really anything serious happening besides uh, character conflicts with the, uh, uh, I forgot the girl's name, but her her and her father, who is the captain of the ship, they had a really good father-daughter dynamic throughout the entire season one. And it was just really about like Ocean Girl leaving at the, at the season finale, which was like not that big of a risk or whatever, but it was still fun. Season one was just fun. You get to see Ocean Girl do Ocean Girl things. You're questioning if she's human. Is she an alien? Is she a mutant? Like, what the hell is she? Which is extremely, extremely fun. Um, season two is when, you know, slowly but surely they're starting to ramp up. Like, all right, it's starting to get serious now. And again, not necessarily life and death situations, but more of um characters certain characters are in trouble they're in danger right and then season three of ocean girl now is serious it is from episode one from the last episode they tell you immediately like shit's about to go down the not only is earth in trouble but the entire galaxy and the universe and ocean girl's home world and all this stuff so 
I just find it amazing how well they can, you know, just create a pace that is very fluid and very organic to the to the story of Ocean Girl. And that's one of the main reasons why I love this show. And then also another thing is I love the characters. I think uh, Ocean Girl is awesome. I, I think she... I think the actress who plays her, I know she didn't really do much after Ocean Girl. I think she was on one more series, and then after that, she just lived a normal life and didn't really act ever again. But she was she's really good as Ocean Girl. I really, I really, I really dig her as Ocean Girl. And the same thing for the rest of the characters. Um, yeah, I, I, I just love this series. So with that said, we are going to get right into this uh, review. So if you, which, you know, it's unfortunate and shout out to, uh, I meant to say this earlier, shout out to one of my subscribers, Lazarus125, I have to memorize your numbers, uh, shout out to Lazarus who reached out and told me that the episodes of Ocean Girl are no longer on YouTube. So I have to go through other means to find them, uh, which I was totally prepared for. <laughs> no show is safe on YouTube. Uh, but uh yeah shout out to him for giving me a heads up and um yeah yeah it's um i was a little bit sad because it's i've already obviously i already seen seasons one two three of ocean girl but i really believe that it's a little sad that a lot of people haven't discovered this show yet obviously this show has you know a, a little bit of a cult following right but there's still so many people, kids and adults, who haven't discovered this show yet. And now it's, it's going to be a little bit harder for them to. Which, they're more than likely going to be on, um, what's that YouTube channel called? Um, that that now has all the Cyber Girl episodes. Which, eventually, I'm th- maybe I'll get back into to Cyber Girl. There's just so many other stuff to watch. And I know Cyber Girl is just like, I just feel like it's one and done. It's just, I, it might not be too memorable to go back to Cyber Girl, but we'll see. We'll totally see. So with that said, let's get right into this review. This episode is 22 minutes and 14 seconds long. Um, I'm pretty sure Ocean Girl, this episode is season four, episode one. This episode will be on uh, the person who owns it, YouTube channel, uh, someday. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure Lazar knows. <laughs> he knows that information, but... um. Yeah, if you want to watch it along with me, I guess you have to wait for that. But feel free to listen along uh, with me. And of course, if you've seen the show, it's going to be that much better. Think of it as a podcast. Absolutely think of it as a podcast. So we are going to start this episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Is it me or is there no intro? No season four intro? Look at it. Everyone's changed. The older brother has like a, a different haircut. Oh, they all have different haircuts. Damn, I miss these characters. Ah, oh, far I miss this soundtrack. God damn, I miss this soundtrack so much. I think I need to find a full soundtrack and put it on my phone. I only have like certain songs from the soundtrack. Oh shit. There's a storm coming. Wait, how did they not know that? You gotta do your, uh, your research before you go out there. So no wait, uh, maybe I should have did like a, a season three recap, like watched it a little bit. Now I kind of forgot what happened. Well, I remember the sister. I remember Kel. He went back to the home world, right? And I think the sister went back to Neri's sister. I just hope. I just hope some of the characters are back. You know, Ocean Girl, the one, here's the only thing I don't like about Ocean Girl. It has a really bad habit of of establishing really good characters throughout the season, and then they totally disregard them. 
Now, I obviously that can just be an acting thing because as actors, you're trained to never stay on a TV show at of a risk of being typecast. But yeah, Ocean Girl from season one, they had such good characters, and a lot of those characters left season two. Some stayed, and then season two was amazing with those characters. And then majority, I would say all those season two characters left. And then now we have a whole new season three cast, and then you end up loving them too. So I just hope they stay. I just really hope they stay for season four because if not, then we're going to start getting some pointless throwaway episodes just to kind of build them up. And um, I mean, I'm going to be patient with this, but, you know, I just feel like they don't need to do that. But again, it sometimes is out of their control for actors if they don't want to be on the show anymore. Pretty Butterfly. Let's see. There she is! Ah, this is so freaking cool. She looks a little bit older. She kind of, she still looks the same though. You can tell she's like older though. Season one, season one near and season four near obviously look completely different, but she, she still kind of looks the same. Yeah, I get to see everyone. What are you doing here, Neri? Well, I mean, you live here, but you can be an orca. Hmm. I guess she's content here. Oh yeah, what was that? What the hell? What is this, their first ever Apple Watch? I see the mom is still the same, which is, I guess, cool. Cool. And the, the, the scientist. I forgot his name. He's cool too. I like him. Winston, that's his name. Hmm. Hmm. weird yeah I wonder what that is it's building up I can feel it something weird is gonna happen this is a this is a world where you know aliens do exist so we'll see Wow, I love the ocean. How's Charlie doing? Yeah, what about Charlie? Just remembered in that little well. Well, he's not little, but mm. ta. See, all good times. Now watch something happen and everything's going to go to shit. <laughs> what makes you capable, though? Yeah, science field. That's a waste of money. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yes. I really liked her character. She's awesome. I don't know what's up with her hair. Yeah, what do you have to lose? Isn't that what we do here? Research? What? You know, I, th I thought it was a square. But I was like, that can't be like a square square. But I guess so. How do you know that? Sorry, it's my TV making all those popping noises. You don't know that. But it's most likely, yes. <laughs> But what triggered it? Hmm. <laughs> I think Jason's so skinny. He need to hit the weight room. Ocean girl. <gasps> no. Jump. Oh, I would have jumped. I would have jumped off the boat. I thought it was going to blow up or something. What is that? Wow. Is it a threat? Yeah, Jason, stop trying to protect her. Liter she can literally do anything, and I would not feel like she's in danger. You're a reliability. Okay. 
Okay, so they're building up these two. Are they like FBI or something? Well, obviously they wouldn't be FBI. I think that's America. Oh, this is funny. This is kind of like X-Files. Like, the, the, the dynamic between these two. Interesting, I, well, I, but I wonder, so is this, sh I guess season four is actually going to, I guess they're actually going to tell two stories at once this time. Because they're going all the way to Egypt, but Ocean Girl and the rest of them are like in Australia. Who is that? Who are these people? No. <laughs> A lot of questions. She changed her hairstyle every day. Ooh, that chair looks comfy. I just need some cushion on the arm bars. I think he's deaf. No. Oh. Oh, I guess he's not. I remember tutoring, um, tutoring at a high school. Or not, not, not tutoring. I was teaching at a high school for some film stuff. And, um, I remember there was a student who was deaf and she would have on like these, um, like these huge headphones to help her hear. So that's what I thought that's that's what it was. Why does he need to leave? Wait, he need to leave so you can do that? <laughs> he could have just stayed. It wasn't bothering anybody. You don't gotta do a damn thing. Just let Ocean Girl handle it. Oh, look, he's back. Mm. Kid's about to be annoying. I can feel it. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's like a submarine. Wait, we don't we don't carry anything? Like an extra scuba gear or something? Like what if it stops in the middle of the ocean? Yeah, I see season four got a budget. <laughs> Doing stuff like this. Nice. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of that little thing in Spy Kids 2. You know what I'm talking about? That like that submarine thing? That was Spike is too, wasn't it? Yeah, it had to be, because that's when they went to the island. Yeah. I love Spike Kids movies. Those those are so good. Those are low key that's like a low key a fantastic franchise that people don't talk about enough. Or they hardly talk about it. Oh, Neri. Wow. See, even even in the fourth season, we're learning a lot more about her powers and stuff like that. The fact that she can submerge herself this deep underwater says a lot about her uh, her biochemistry. What is going on? Dumbasses. Told you to let Ocean Girl be there. Her alone. Nothing you can do. Just write it out. This must have been tough for the actress. I can't even imagine doing underwater like stunts, underwater acting. I can't even imagine that. Like, all right, you gotta hold your breath for like ten seconds at least. Look calm when you do it. You gotta be like relax. You gotta do this and do that. I know she has a stunt double. I've seen it on the behind the scenes, but wow. And you know what? You know what's funny? She's probably faster than that, than that submarine thing that they're riding in. That's so cool. Okay, I think there's gonna be three stories happening at once. I don't know how tall the actress is who, who plays Neri. Oh, let me look it up real quick. He has long legs. Let me see if it's just like Spellbinder. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Wow. So it's like a pyramid submerged. How has no one ever? How, how has no one ever found that? Or found that? Interesting. 
All right, that's the, uh, that is episode one of season four. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. A lot of questions, though. A lot of questions, and again, I can sense that they're going to take their time. They're going to take their time, and they're going to give you these answers um, throughout the episodes because... Uh, I mean, I already saw it. season four is not like a, it's not a short season, not like season one and not like season two. It's it's going to be like season three, 20 plus episodes. So I'm excited. This is going to be a new story. I still don't I, <clears throat> again. And one of those questions, I still don't know these ramifications of how serious things are right now. We know there's two agents that are looking for this strange anomaly that's happening on Earth. Um, we know that this other lady and this other group of people are also, I believe, <clears throat> excuse me, I believe are looking for that thing as well in Egypt. And then now Ocean Girl and the rest of the gang are kind of checking out this pyramid underwater in Australia. So it's, it's going to be really interesting to see how three of these groups lives or are their stories i guess are going to intertwine with each other um well we all know they're all looking for the same thing right but it's how are they gonna they're all on other sides of the world how are they going to meet up at one point so that's going to be interesting to see um so yeah that's going to be awesome to see i it does not tell me how tall she is <laughs> i was looking at how tall she is polish born australian that's right i remember that she is polish da, 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 da. yep yep she didn't really do much after ocean girl but yeah i'm i'm really liking this episode um episode two here i come um so yeah um so yeah this has a, been a full episode review like this episode there's not much really to talk about because it's such a i mean we could talk about like the questions because yeah there's so many questions and, and whatnot like is the mom gonna get the job who are these two other new characters well i mean there's a lot of new characters right but the two new characters that are on orca the little kid and, and his dad and the dad kind of applied for that commander job as well. We're going to see how what what they're going to have. And obviously, they're going to get their own episodes too. And they're going to, you know, we're going to try to build their characters up and see if we like them. Um, yeah, a lot of new characters. A lot of new characters this season. And um, the one thing I will say that's new about this season is it seems like the new characters are just new. Like, it seems like they've been around in their own space existing somewhere else in the world and then now it's their turn to you know tell their story rather than oh they were just on orca the whole time but for some reason we just never saw them so that's one thing i do like this is making it just makes it seem a little bit more logical to two agents and then whoever that woman is and her group of people that are also in egypt um, it makes sense they were we wouldn't hear about them from the previous three seasons so that's cool um i'm happy i forgot her name but i'm happy that one character is back as as well on orca um yeah i i guess the the other kid left too who was like studying really hard all through season three. Oh, and lena lena left lena and her dad but it makes sense why they wouldn't stay at orca right that kind of makes sense. Oh, damn, I love those characters. They were so good. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll see them later on. Maybe we'll see Neri's sister later on, too. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait for episode two. I'll be posting that pretty soon. And as far as future uh, full episodes review goes, maybe some Babylon 5 in the future. I'm currently working on a TV analysis. And that's why I haven't been posting anything because I'm like, I'm just going to work on this analysis and do this and do that. But um, my podcast is still up and running. Obviously, I, I post it every week, every Friday. It comes on 6.30 a.m. Yeah, you can find it anywhere you find your podcast except for Amazon Music because I just don't use that. <laughs> so Spotify, 
Apple Podcasts, any all all that. Um, yeah, you can find my podcast. Um, my future future podcast episodes. I'm gonna watch Jurassic Park because I've never seen that movie and never cared to. Um, and I'm gonna watch uh, the wedding wedding singer. Um, and as far as episode reviews, again, maybe Babylon Five. Uh, oh, Love Life, Love Life season two is gonna be a must watch. I'll probably watch that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, awesome. Well, maybe I'll watch some Cyber Girl. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna give Cyber Girl one more episode because I'm really kind of just fall, falling out of it. And if I'm like, all right, this is cool, I'm back on the the Cyber Girl train, then I'll keep watching it. But if I watch it and I just still like kind of just don't care, then it's it's a pure uh, indication onto why this show was never like picked up again for a second season. Um, cause it's very easy to lose interest of it. Um, but yeah. All right. Yeah. That is the full episode review. So starfighters, um, I will see you on the next one, but until then, Victor or death starfighters.